Hey everyone, today we're going to be working on course A. And if we, when we scroll down, I want you to look at lesson 12 on the move with events. So when you click on the first one, it's going to tell you a little bit about what the play lab is and for you to start creating a story. We are going to be introduced to something called an event block. An event block is an action that causes something to happen and they control the action in your program. For instance, this when run block, it's an event block. And in the when, when you click run right here, it runs the program. Right now there's no blocks here. So we're just, you get introduced to lots of brand new blocks in this lesson. So let's just play with it. I want you to set the background to something fun that you might like. Oh, I like rainbows. And then you can um, set your sprite. A character in coding is called a sprite. So say it could be the dog or the dino. The dog can say, hi hey there. And I can set his mood to probably happy because he's by a rainbow and to play some sort of sound, a random sound. Or it could be a uh, wood, retro, hit, slap. Play around with that and see what happens. So I'm gonna click run and the run is looking for this when run block, this event block, because it's going to tell it what to do. Cool. Hey there, he's happy. And I think it sounds like a sneeze. <laughs> All right, when you're when you made something that you're happy with, click finish. A lot of lesson 12 is all about reading the instructions because there are some very specific things that your sprite needs to do. So this is Jorge, the dog. He wants to say, hi there, can you help him? All right, so Christopher, which block do you think I can use? The say hi there block. Awesome, I'm gonna click run. Nice work. Click continue. In puzzle four, it says, help Jorge the dog get moving by connecting the move block to the when left arrow is click event block that is already in the workspace. Use the arrow keys or press the arrow buttons to move Jorge to the flag and finish the level. So the original event blocks that we're, we're used to or familiar with is orange when run. But there are actually new blocks, new event blocks that are in green. If we scroll down in the block section, oh, they don't have any in, in this one, but you can easily pull them out and change them to left button, top button, right, uh, right button, and down button. Okay, so when I click on this left button, either right here or on my keyboard, I want Jorge to move left. So I'm gonna take this move left button and connect these two together. Okay, so when I click run and I click the left button, oh, I got Jorge to move left. Good job. All right, so here, now add another event block to get Jorge to move right when the right arrow button is clicked. Use the arrow keys or press the but arrow buttons to move Jorge to both flags and finish the level. So in puzzle four, we program the left button. Now we need to program the right button and it's right here, the green event block, just drag it out. And we are going this to connect the move Jorge to the right when I click the right button. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's go left first, because we know that works. And once it turns green, let's click on the right button. Woohoo! Now, we're going to make this program a little more exciting. So we're going to add events to have Jorge move up and down when the up and down buttons are pressed. Right here. When the up button is pressed, I'm gonna drag that out. Hmm, what do you think will happen? If I click the up button, what do I want it to do? I want you to go up. Yeah, I want Jorge to move up. And then drag another 
button out. I'm going to change this to down. What do I want the Jorge to do when I click on the down button? I want him to go down. Right, so I have to change the direction of Jorge to down. So these buttons, the direction of these buttons have to match. Down, down, up, up, left, left, right, right. So let's see if it works. I'm gonna click run. And I'm gonna go, yay. So this way I get to move Jorge to, Jorge to the left. Yay! And then I'm going to bring him up. Do, do, do. Thank you. In Puzzle 7, my son is most excited about this because he's been wanting to change the background and, and put a random sound. But this time, read the directions carefully because there's a specific thing that they want you to do. It says, make this more interesting by changing the background and playing a random sound when Jorge is clicked. Now, this is a brand new event block right here. When Jorge is clicked, that means when I click on the sprite or any of the characters, when I click on him, I want him to do something. And in this case, I want him to change the background Okay, so let's find right here, set background. Let's see. Which background would you like? Um, uh, I mean, underwater. Which one is underwater? No, the, actually, this one, this one. So I'm going to click. Okay, I'm going to do this part again. Because you do. Okay, so we're going to set backdrop. Which backdrop would you like? I would like the seawater. Okay, seawater. And it says change the backdrop, background, and then play a random sound. So I'm going to drag the play sound button out. It says play random. I'm going to click that. It says hi there. Now, I'm not going to click the left button, right button, any of these yet. But I'm going to click on him. <laughs> Woohoo! The backdrop change. All right, once we click run, to get this event to happen, I have to click on the sprite. Oh, there it goes. It was very quick. But you see that the backdrop changed to underwater. Click continue. In puzzle eight, it's free play. Add anything you want to this game. Can you make the dinosaur disappear when Jorge runs into him? Ooh, this is going to be fun. I want to introduce you to a new event block, and this is the one you're going to need for this free play. This means that when Jorge touches the dino, and I, he wants to vanish, and that's what the command block is. Right here, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it says, we want the dino to poof, disappear. All right, are you guys ready for this? Yeah. All right, up, 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 up. Oh, he touched him and he vanished. And then I could click finish, but you can also click reset and add more blocks to do anything you like. You could even have him score one. Let's see, reset. And you can turn this into a game. Up, 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 up. Yay, I got one point. Whew. So fun. Awesome. So have fun with this. Be creative. And when you reach the flag, you've completed course A. Congratulations. Put your name here that you've completed the course. And when you click submit, you can print it and frame it or put it on your refrigerator. But I am very, very proud of you. Good job. Congratulations for completing course A in kindergarten. I can't wait for all the coding that you're going to be doing in first grade. All right. See you later.